have misunderstood their obligations in law. Martin James from Complaints website, resolver.co.uk. What are their obligations under the Consumer Rights Act of 2015? Where does the responsibility ultimately lie? The responsibility in this instance lies with the range. So you've got 30 days and if they aren't as advertised, they don't turn up or they're fundamentally misrepresented, you're entitled to apply for a full refund. If at six months after you first purchased the item, you're able to ask the firm to do a repair or replace the item if it's still not doing what it was supposed to do. But even after that, they have to give you a refund if they can't sort the problem out. The thing I'm confused about, Martin, I'm not, is where the in-store policy beats the law. The law is the law and the retailer is the person who should be dealing with any complaints about goods or services that you've purchased within that first six months. With that clarity from Martin, we spoke to The Range and Clever Spa, which both apologised to Donna, Julie and Kerry, and even better, gave them their money back. Both companies told us that unprecedented demand for hot tubs, combined with the nationwide lockdown, put additional pressure on Clever Spa when it only had limited services. It's now recruited additional staff to improve things. But neither company commented on the fact that for all our cases, it was The Range's responsibility to put things right. OK, hot tubs are a bit of fun, but they're also a lot of money. And if you're going to sell them to people, you've got to take responsibility if they don't work. This is the thing to remember. Whatever they decide in store, it does not beat the law. Case closed. OK, talking of treating your customers well, we are on the push for some big changes and we are not on our own for once. No, because there's some good news, isn't there, there for some consumers? Absolutely is. Have you guys ever watched as yearly your house insurance, car insurance, holiday insurance yes. premium creeps up a yeah. little bit more every year, even when you're staying loyal to the company? Well, the FCA, that's the Financial Conduct Authority, they've seen that too, they've had enough. They're planning new rules that mean loyal customers shouldn't pay more for sticking around. These rules are in consultation till January, should come into force next year. Are you stickers or are you switchers? You... Lazy stickers. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. So how's that sticker. working out for you? Well, I mean, my um, internet provider is awful. But the botheration involved in changing, I don't have the time. Yeah, well, take car insurance. It's reckoned that 16% of us don't shop around and it costs us 675 million quid a year in lost savings. We reckon this is the tip of the iceberg. And we're not just talking about insurance. I've been hearing for years of customers who are sick of being used like doormats because they're loyal. They should be treated like kings and queens. It costs companies gazillions in marketing to bring in customers. They should therefore be cutting the ones who stick around better deals, giving them rewards, not worse deals. That's why. Tonight, we're launching our new campaign. Hashtag treat loyalty like royalty. Ooh. Tell us about how the firm you've used for years has brought you to tears. Whether it's breakdown recovery, supermarkets, internet providers, mobile phones, just put down at BBC Watchdog. Hashtag treat loyalty like royalty and then the name of the firm. I love a good hashtag. That's yeah, that's a, a good, good hashtag. one. Treat loyalty like royalty. Uh, you've also that. got some promising news, Matt, on the, uh, the horror that is the, parking fines. Yeah, there are a lot of parking fines around, sometimes for very trivial reasons. Have a look at this. George from Margate. Uh, he drove around a private car park for exactly six minutes. He didn't stop or get out. £100 <gasps> fine. Hey? No. Alison from Southampton punched out of a car park 20 seconds too late. £100 fine. <sighs> And then there's Gareth from Carmarthen. He paid £2.20 to park in Rye. Apparently on Thursdays, it's £2.40. Only 20p difference. He's got a £100 oh, fine. Come Outrageous. on. He's appealing. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> particularly in that hat. You have to wait for the punch. To wait for it. <laughs> uh, it's time for a clamp down. Not the first government clamp down we've seen in recent years. They're saying they want a maximum cap for parking fines. Ten minute grace period. And the firms have to clearly display pricing. They have to take into account where people take, make little mistakes. Yeah. We all do that from time oh, to time. Cut yeah. us some slack, parking companies, I'm please. prone to a parking fine. Yeah, yeah. That is good news. <laughs> you collect them, don't you, Al? Well. <laughs> Thank you so much, Matt. Really good to see you. Yeah. Now, the Top Gear boys are coming up in just a moment, but while they're still parking the car, here's a film about a car park that does it for you. Car parking gets the better of most of us at one time or another. With 50,000 accidents reported every year in car parks alone. 